All right, today we're going to be looking at how we can create a hypothesis based on our literature review. Let's just remember that the goal of sociology is to test a hypothesis based on a theory. And a theory is not just like, I think this, so it's true. No, a theory is really based on uh, scientists that do experiments, that test out hypotheses, and they collect these together, and they say, oh, this is true enough that we could say that we have a theory that this is possibly true. Okay? So a theory is really based on other people's hypotheses. Mind blown. Okay. Goal of sociology, test hypothesis based on theory. Uh, just so you know, the evaluation of your work, of your experiment, of your research is really based on the process. The most important thing is the journey. The journey is greater than the end results. So even if your hypothesis ends up being wrong, it doesn't mean that you uh, do poorly on your work or on your experiment or on your research. Actually, if your hypothesis is verified, that doesn't even mean that you're true. It doesn't mean that it's always true. Further research is needed. Science is a never-ending process. If they could just say, oh, it's done and it's true, they would never have to research anymore. It'd be over. Just, and, and with that, negative results are just as important. Let me stress that. Negative results are just as important. So if your hypothesis ends up being false or incorrect or not observed, that's just as important as if your hypothesis was true or correct. Uh, the first step to uh, creating a literature review is to think about what have other people found about my topic or about my research questions or about the hypothesis that I have. Here's some tips. Number one, you want to use uh, secondary sources that reference other works. Number two, look for arguments and findings. So when you're reading through these secondary sources or when you're reading through the sources that other people have completed, I want you to look for what are they arguing and what did they find. Were they right? Were they wrong? Was there significant data that was presented? And then finally, record your research and the citation info together. That's really important. So you'll be researching, you'll be reading, you'll, be, you'll fill up a whole Word document full of information, and you'll go back to look at it and be like, oh, where did I find this information? See, that's why it's really important to record those together so that you know this source had this information. Uh, furthermore, a hypothesis, which is the next thing we're going to talk about, reflects your literature review. That's very, very important. Your hypothesis reflects your literature review. All right, now we're going to talk about how we can create a hypothesis uh, based on our literature review. If you look at the word hypothesis, you can see that the word thesis is right inside. Okay, it's a part of the word. You're trying to prove something here. Actually, the number one question when you're creating a hypothesis is you want to try to think to yourself, what are you trying to figure out? Here's some tips to creating a hypothesis. Number one, it should be one sentence. Number two, you're trying to predict the relationship between two variables. So two things that could be changing, uh, you're trying to predict the relationship between these two things. Number three, it should be comparative, measurable, and falsifiable. Meaning that you should be able to prove it wrong. You should be comparing two variables, and it should be something that you can measure with a survey, with observation, something that's measurable. Uh, number four, your hypothesis might change over time. Actually, this is very true in a lot of sciences, is that you'll be going right along with your hypothesis, and you'll come up with something, and you'll realize, oh, this isn't that right. I have to change my hypothesis. You kind of have to go back and relook at your, your research, your literature. And you have to say, okay, how does this fit in? And your hypothesis may change. And finally, your hypothesis should be written in an if, then, because statement. Okay? It's based on reason. It's not just something you pull out of your head. It's based on reason. That's very, very important. If, then, because statement. Here are a couple examples uh, based on the examples that I gave you uh, last in the last video. Uh, the first one, if you remember, was education. This is from the functionalism theory. Uh, and basically, I came up with an example of a, of a hypothesis that says, if educators increase the use of soaring eagle tickets, then discipline referrals will decrease because scholars will strive to meet and exceed normative behavior expectations. What we're looking at here is we're comparing things. We're comparing referrals before the use of soaring eagle tickets to referrals after. Okay, you're comparing two things there. The second thing, you are measuring the amount of referrals. And then finally, it's falsifiable 
if negative behavior increases or there's no change, then your hypothesis would be incorrect or false. All right, here's another example, looking at the mass media example from last time. Uh, this was related to the conflict theory, as you'll remember. And the hypothesis that I wrote here says, if students spend an excessive amount of time on electronic media, then they will have lower academic performance than students who spend more time with their studies because they are more distracted. Okay, you're comparing students in their electronic media use. Students that use more, students that use less, students that study more, students that study less. You're measuring electronic media usage in academic performance. And finally, uh, it's false if there's no correlation or there's no relationship uh, between the, the two variables or there's no effect. Just a quick review. Uh, the goal of science, and remember that sociology is a social science. The goal of science is to test a hypothesis based on theory. Uh, also, that when you're doing your literature review, you want to look at what have others found or what have they already found out. All right. Here's a note. Make sure that you're using credible sources that reference other works. Uh, hypothesis, again, you're trying to, trying to determine what are you trying to figure out. So hypothesis, what are you trying to figure out? Uh, make sure that it's one sentence and if, then, because statement. And this is very, very important. Your hypothesis reflects your literature review. You base your hypothesis on what you determine from your literature review. Now you're ready to get started. Well, I mean, actually, I don't know. No, I mean, are you really ready to get Yeah, you kind of are ready to get started. Yeah. All right, then I'm just going to leave it.